My name is Ron Luck. Um, I, start, I started this whole mess. I designed and build airplanes. That's what I do. I've done, done that forever. Actually been in this business for about 40 years. This is a Comp Air 6.2, and I know 6.2 sounds kind of weird, but it's an outgrowth of, of computer programs. Everybody does, you know, version 2.0 or 2.2, so that, that's where that came from. Um, so it is a six, a six place, in this case, a turbine powered airplane. It's all carbon fiber, um, 225 knot cruise airplane. So. And what airplanes does this compete with in its size class? You know, it, it's hard to say because we're much bigger than a 206, but smaller than a caravan. But we're much faster than both of those. This airplane cruises at 225 knots, carries 3,200 pound useful load, uh, which is about what a caravan carries. I think a caravan's 34 or 3,500 pound useful load. So. Okay, and tell us about the kit aspect and what's involved in purchasing a, a kit air, aircraft, building it, and okay. bringing it to an Sure, ready. this is an amateur built aircraft, which means you build it yourself. We build a kit, and the kit consists of all the composite parts you need to, to build the airplane. So we pre-mold everything on the out. Everything you see that's painted is pre-molded. So we make all of those parts. We make the critical structural parts, the spars, um, <clears throat> the ribs. The, the ribs inside the fuselage, we, we make all of that stuff. Landing gear, wheels, brakes, tires, all of that come, and nuts and bolts and hardware. Uh, windows, doors, that all comes with the kit. What the builder has to provide is the engine, paint, avionics, instrumentation, uh, and, and upholstery, okay. and the battery. Okay, Ron, thank you so much for the flight. No, thank you, so, I'm glad you enjoyed so it. So the Comp Air 6.2 is the real deal. The performance, I mean, when we took off, we were pitching up 45 degrees and maintaining airspeed. Yep. Most people don't expect that, you know, that it really does that. I mean, I knew it's a lot of horsepower, but wow, mm -hmm. for a general aviation aircraft, the, the way we took off really stood out to me. And it's very stable. I was flying it. Yeah. I, I was impressed at how light it was on the controls mm -hmm. for an aircraft that size. Yeah, they get lighter even in the pattern. Um, and as, as you get up around 200 knots indicated, it gets a little firmer than where we were only at 180, I think 188. And the, the big playing characteristics were the stability because mm -hmm. I could take my hands off the yoke and straight and level, mm -hmm. working bounce around, no. maintaining altitude. And we had a, what, about a 15 knot dead crosswind? We did. It can't even hardly tell. It, it just handles it all really well. So I was looking at the fuel burn. It looked like around 38 gallons per hour. That's right. So yeah. at 225 knots, you just can't beat it. No, no, I don't. And we carry 230 gallons. I'm sold. I love it. <laughs> me too. Well, thanks so much for letting me fly well, your plane again. and be no, here. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ron.